afternoon everybody. So as you know, today we are going to do the second lab, which is on plasmid transfer by conjugation, which is the first part, and the second part we will be doing phage infection. So let's start off with the first experiment, which is plasmid transfer by conjugation. Now before you do any experiments in the lab, you need to make sure that your bench space is sterile. So we do this by spraying Dettol on the area where you want to work. So you spray some Dettol, then you use tissue and wipe it off. Okay. Now the next thing you need to do is to light the flame. Remember, you're working with bacteria, so everything has to be done aseptically. So all the experiments have to be done around the flame. Okay, in this experiment, you are going to mix your donor bacteria cells with your recipient bacteria cells. So you do this by taking out an empty Eppendorf tube, which is sterile. Into the tube, you're going to add 400 microliters of your donor cell together with 800 microliters of your recipient cell. So remember to set your micropipette first to 400 microliters. Pipette it into your Appendorf tube. Then reset your micropipette to 800 microliters and transfer your, rec your recipient cell. Okay, when this is complete, mix the tube gently. And then put the tube in the water bath, which is set at 37 degrees Celsius. And you're going to leave it there for one hour. At the end of one hour, you take out your tube. And what we are going to do next is you're going to make your dilutions before you plate out the conjugation mixture. So to do your dilutions, as you have noted before, you are going to make two different dilutions, which is tenfold, or 10 to the power minus 1, and a hundredfold, which is 10 to the power minus 2. We are going to take 100 microliters of your conjugation mix and add it to 900 microliters of LB medium. So when you do dilutions, take your empty Eppendorf tubes and label them first. Add your diluting agent first. So as you can see, the 900 microliters of LB is being added first. Once the LB has been added, and you go back, adjust your pipette to 100 microliters. And pipette 100 microliters of the original conjugation mixture into the first dilution tube. Mix that dilution tube sample using a vortex. And now transfer 100 microliters from the first tube into the second dilution tube. Once again, mix thoroughly using the vortex. Okay, 
Now take your three CB plus rift plates. If you're doing this in the lab yourself, then you have to label the plates with your group number and the sample that you are pipetting into each plate. So what is being written now is the dilution factor, 10 to the power 0, 10 to the power minus 1, and 10 to the power minus 2. So next, once your plates are labelled, you can do your plating. So the plating, we are going to be using your aseptic techniques, don't forget about that. And we are going to transfer 100 microliters, first of all from the undiluted sample onto the plate that you have labelled 10 to the power 0. Then you use your hockey stick which has to be sterilised. So remember what you've learned from your first year fundamental microbiology lab. First you dip it into the alcohol then you put the glass in the flames. Cool your stick against a part of the agar that does not have any sample. And then start spreading. Spread it until the mixture is dry. And then you can move on to the next plate. then you can do that for the third plate as well. Right? Once your plates are dry, then you put them in the incubator in an inverted position and the next day you will come and count the number of colonies that you have on the plates. that were given to you. So for this, you have been told to prepare the dilutions as stated in the protocol, 10 to the minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. So you will have 5 sets of dilutions for each of your recipient cells and the two donor cells. So as you noted earlier, first you would have to do your calculations. So from our earlier calculations, you know that you need 900 microliters of LB media as your diluent. And you will add 100 microliter of the sample to be diluted. So first of all, add 900 microliters to your five tubes.
to your original tube of the recipient cell, E. coli 1, and you take out 100 microliters and add it to the first dilution tube. So this will give you your 10 to the minus 1 dilution. Vortex. And take out 100 microliters from the first tube and transfer to the second tube. This will give you your 10 to the minus 2 or 100 fold dilution. Carry on until you've completed all five dilutions. When all five dilution tubes are ready, okay, take your plates again. So one agar with carbonicillin, one plate has only rifampicin, and one plate has rifampicin with carbonicillin. Right? So to these three plates, you are going to pipette 100 microliters of the 10 to the minus 2 dilution. So you repeat the same process for the other two plates and then you move on to the 10 to the 4, minus 4 and 10 to the minus 5 dilutions to which you are going to spread 100 microliters of each dilution onto plates with only carbenicillin. Once again, when all your plates are dry, invert them and put them in the incubator until tomorrow. So to the next day, you will have to come and count the colonies. You will have to determine the original title of your, bacteri of your bacteria recipients and donor cells. And then you, 
finally you have to calculate the percentage of transconjugates. So we've come to the end of the first part of this experiment. We have completed now the plasmid transfer by conjugation.